Hey guys, welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today we're at Modern Golf in Calgary. We were invited by the VP, Craig Dale. Craig's been my fitter for as long as I can remember. We go back six, seven years, and he saw our video on the 2021 driver review. Today we're really gonna dial in the shaft for the TaylorMade Sim 2 and the Titleist TSI 3. We're gonna figure out what shaft is best for my game to find out what driver's gonna end up in my bag. So in your last video, you left off uh, with the TaylorMade Sim 2 with the stock shaft X. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to give that right back to you. We're going to get some baseline numbers and that's going to let me know where I need to go on our shaft wall to pull some shafts for us to test from there. Perfect. Let's try it out. There you go. Low on the face. What are some numbers that you're looking at as a club fitter that stand out? So. You know, today, obviously we're looking at club head speed because that's what everyone's chasing nowadays. <laughs> Ball speed's a fun one to talk about, but really from a playability standpoint, launch angle, spin rate, those are numbers that people are pretty familiar with nowadays in the fitting world, but it's really a balancing act of those two numbers. So there's numbers, you know, there's windows we try to get to, you know, launch angle, kind of that 10 to 15. Spin rate with your club head speed, we could get you like 2,500 or, or under, that's kind of with managing. Okay. Obviously with your speed, there is room to create more spin. Right. So again, balancing act of those two numbers, like if you have a super low launch, you also don't want a low spin. Right. That's one that's gonna kind of knuckle load on you. It's okay to have a low launch, it just means that you need higher spin to keep the ball airborne. Gotcha. So, and then vice versa, right? So. there. That might be my fastest club head I was speed. I going to say a lot of speed. I just hit three pretty decent shots with that. Yeah. We still have the Titleist. What's next from a fitting standpoint? Well, I mean, basically those numbers are pretty good. What, what we're going to do is, I mean, we're going to get you to hit the Titleist. We're going to look at them back to back. Let's see if one of them did outperform the other second go around because you've already hit them both. So then from there, then we can look to see, okay, what numbers were good? What numbers the improvement? Was the dispersion good or bad? And where we need to go from there and hopefully, you know, see what we're asking of a different shaft. Cool. Knowing it's going into those heads. Well, let's try the Titleist. Okay. Yeah, I found I was definitely getting the best ball speeds. I could, I cracked 180 with the TSI. Yeah. Oh, something in my shoes. Well, you got the 181 there. But you wouldn't like where it went. Yeah, there we go, 180. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was trying for that though. Not pretty low. Yeah, I don't love the trajectory on those ones. Oh okay, yeah, that's three decent swings, I thought. I mean, based on all that that we just saw, I mean, it's pretty easy to see, maybe we were seeing a little bit more stability in one of the heads, knowing that we were just hitting the exact same shafts, right? Right. Now, shaft is a huge part of dispersion, but, you know, I'm gonna toss it up to you, like, you know, over the ball, which one feels better, looks better, does one give you more confidence, knowing that, I mean, we're getting high 170 ball speed, we're getting plenty out of these, Right. but, at the end of the day, you can only have, wait, you should probably only have one driver in your bag. Totally. So if I toss that question up to you, like just three versus three, second go around, yeah. which one's feeling better? I was happier with the Sim 2. With just right. the ball flight and the trajectory, yep. I feel like I there was more I could work with with the Sim 2 than looking at the ball flight with the TSI 3. Right. Would you agree with that? Oh, I definitely agree with that. It's just one of those things where as we move into a through a fitting is we're trying to obviously decide which one we want to put more swing. At the end of the day, you only have so many driver swings in you totally before you get exhausted. Right. So we really try to capture as many of those as possible mm -hmm. because once we get to the end of it, then you start swinging differently and that could change the whole fitting, right? So right. Okay, well let's dial, let's dial in that TaylorMade and see uh, how tight we can get it dialed in. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to go grab some shafts. Obviously, I know your game over the years. 
I'm gonna go pull some shafts off our wall and uh, we'll see what we can get. Perfect. Okay. what I've done is I've pulled a handful of options from all these different companies that are out there. All ones that I think could be uh, a nice addition to this head, given your game. So really that's where the testing comes in, but these are all, I would say, each other's brands versions of each other's. You know, they're all kind of designed to compete against each other, similar profiles and stiffnesses and all that stuff. But it really is dependent on the person. And you know, they all, re you know, well, I can tell you all these different things about whether a shaft is counterbalanced or not. But you know, if it doesn't work for that person and we think it might, then it, all that information is lost anyways. What's the shaft? So this one here is the Acra TZ6 counterbalance. Okay. Uh, new one last year. Um, so Acra, uh, Canadian company. So we'll uh, start there. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Put the tag on this one, Brandon, and uh, there you go. So, I mean, going off of your current driver, like what what is the perfect scenario? Like, is it are you hitting it pretty straight last year? Like, what was? I know we didn't get to play last year, but what's yeah. the perfect shot was? I was trying to work it both ways. Cause you okay. know, playing at Country Hills, you gotta be able to hit a draw and you yeah. gotta be able to hit a fade, right? If I could hit a consistent eight yard, 10 yard draw, that would be probably my preferred shot to play those courses. Okay. So in hitting these, I am trying to turn it over okay. and that was more user error. Just yeah. it's obviously winter, but I, I am trying to turn it over. Okay. I definitely felt better than the first one. It's just not uh, coming back. Now, how does this feel compared to stock shaft? Um, it's hard to say. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, sometimes people feel a difference, sometimes they don't, but. Yeah, I'm trying to think in the weight if I feel any difference and I, there's nothing drastic. Okay, that I'm no, thinking, that's oh, wow, this is different. Yeah. Well, totally fair. the line yeah so i mean that's i mean maybe a couple more yards more of a draw but that's essentially what you're looking for totally. right? like that yeah that window. would be that would be the perfect shot okay let's let's go one more with that one okay yeah so it's a little bit of a struggle to turn that one over okay it's all good let me switch you up here does the club head make that big of a difference for ball speed? Yep. So what would make one have faster ball speed? In my opinion, the story nowadays is like, they're all fast. The story now is stability. I mean, that's everyone's preaching stability now. It's, I think it's something that everyone makes a, a good driver now. I, I kind of say to everybody I fit. Really, there's no duds on the market in the big, the big game, but it just has to work for that person. Right. Okay, uh, shaft number three. Yep. Second upgrade shaft. Yeah, so we're going with uh, a Mitsubishi brand new Tensei 1K 70 TX. So um, yeah, let's try that, brand new. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, is, this will be good for both of us because we're, we're, we're gonna have some data on uh, a brand new shaft for us this year and see what you think of it too, so. Cool. And as we go through this, I mean, now that we've hit a couple of shafts, it's really important for you as a player to know, you know, same, same conversations with the heads, right? It was confidence, feel, even look to some extent, right? right? So all things we're trying to, to give you as a player. Yeah, it turned over. It turned it over, yeah. <laughs> I think I prefer the weight of this one. Compared to the first one? The first two, I guess? Yeah, first two. Okay. 
Because that one I really tried to turn over because yes. I haven't been turning it over and yep. it, it reacted as so, right? Okay. So I like That's that. Good. The first one even, it, it didn't quite turn over, but it also didn't go as far right either. Totally. Which is good to see. Yeah. Yeah, I would take all three of those. Okay. A little ball speed. That felt maybe a little low on the face. That was definitely a miss it. It yeah. looked a little healy. Yeah. Give her one more. Yeah, let's go one more. Okay, new shaft. New shaft, uh, LA Golf, uh, most notably is uh, what Bryson's using. So oh, okay. If you watch golf uh, recently, then you've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of drives with, with these shafts, oh. so. Yeah, another good product, and uh, we'll see how this feels for you. The color combo matches the driver. It does, it's, yeah, it's definitely a nice looking club for sure. Well, who doesn't want to drive it like Bryson? Exactly. Oh, huh. oh, Bryson. <laughs> I'm only about uh, 20 miles an hour behind his club head speed. I'll take that shape every day. Yeah, I mean, that's the playable one that you were wanting, right? So. Yeah, good rip there. Bring it around, huh? Yeah, started on the line, though. It's funny how different a shaft can make your ball flight. Absolutely. You know, like you feel like you're doing the same movement as you were in one shaft and it just reacts different. You know, when you're going on a, a, a shaft company's website and you're just seeing high torque, low torque, kick points, all that stuff, that's all well and good, but it's, you're trying sometimes if you need lower spin, well, if, if, if you're not going to actually get anything out of that shaft, you're going to spin it more because right. the club face isn't going to square up. Hmm. So it's really about it just because it says low spin or low launch or whatever it may doesn't always mean that it's going to do that. Right. It's all about the person. Huh. So, you know, really, if you're looking online and reading these things, it's really your chart fitting. Hmm. It's not, you know, a dynamic session like like what we're doing right now. So this is why it's so important to preach to the audience to go get fit. 100%. To hit all of these shafts that they're, if you're just going off the numbers of what you see on the website, chances are it's not the right driver for you. No, well, and that's the thing. There's so much information out there. It's like anything. I mean, there's tons of information about vehicles, right? And it, it, whether you like it or not, or whether it drives the way you want it to drive, mm -hmm. I'm sure that on the website, it'll tell you it will. Right. Right, and golf, golf equipment, hockey gear, and no matter what it is, everything's the same. Right. It's all about you. All right, guys, you made it this far into the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can see the next video we're pumping out. It's pretty good, buddy. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Carry 331, is that good for you? I come in to buy the Sim 2 and I get fit for this shaft. It is an extra upgrade on top of... 100%. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that that is a... Uh... I, gotta, I would have to look this up because shaft offerings are changing. Hmm. But to start the year, that was a, a modern golf build. Oh, really? So it wouldn't be offered in the OEM. Yeah. Um, but that would be one that you could get here oh. and we would build it, obviously. Oh, cool. So I don't think I need to hit it again. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah. So very popular. I mean, arguably one of the most popular shafts in the last couple of years uh, Fujikura Ventus, uh, Ventus Black. So it seems, you know, it's one of those clubs or shafts that every week, you know, you go onto these websites that are tracking what guys are playing on tour. This, there seems to be more and more and more of these every week. Hmm. So wow. uh, worth hitting for sure. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go. So, I mean, biggest thing with this one, Brandon, is it has to feel better than the last one. Right. Because that's, the last one was, was the new baseline for you. Totally. Right, like that, and you even said it, I don't even need to hit any more with this. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think anytime you put three together, you're like, okay. Yeah. Don't wreck it. You're feeling some differences between this one and the, the other it one? It feels soft, like they they feel good hitting it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure there's just fatigue is kicking in sure. now. Right. Yeah. Let's try to go at it. Oh, healy. 
heel draw. Mosfeld says that's impossible. It's good spin rate. Spin rate's fine, but it's kind of diving over there, right? So yeah. anytime it's gonna curve that much, it's not gonna have as much spin typically. So right. it's kind of falling out of the air, right? Stay behind that one a little bit more. I tried to get it up. Yeah. Now, I mean, this, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I assume this one's not feeling like you can work it the same as the last no, one. No, not at all. Okay. No. As far as the benchmark goes, that yeah, last still the LA is okay. the shaft. I think in the first video, they were so close anyway, right? Like, yeah. it was such a toss up. I think just the, oh, hits, yeah. the hits that I was getting at Golf Tech, yeah. the dispersion was a little bit better. Since hitting both of them, I was getting better consistency with the sim. So it, it was, it's interesting to come back for a fitting and play around with both club heads. And since putting in that new shaft in the sim, like that felt like butter. Like that was, that far surpasses my current driver. What is the shaft that we're gonna hit now? Yeah, so this one here uh, is another LA product. Okay. So this one, uh, you know, not to tell you too much about it, but it's a little bit firmer um, feeling. Uh, I don't want to call it rebar, but it's, uh, I would say that you can't overpower the shaft. Mm, okay. So some people like that, some people don't. With your speed, it's definitely worth mm. hitting. But, uh, and given that you like the last LA shaft. Yeah, well, challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> That's got a different finish to it, eh? It does. It's like a... Uh... Yeah, a different coating. Can't overpower it. Huh. Is it the same weight? Uh, slightly heavier. Oh, lost that one. That's an insurance claim. <laughs> so that was right on the button but just spinning a bit more than some of the others. You're not getting that pop. So the shaft is just not giving you as much out of it. Right. Cause that was a good swing. Yeah. So you should actually get a little bit more out of it. Huh, interesting. So. Okay guys, if you thought about subscribing the first time and you didn't, well, hey, here's your second chance. Hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Welcome to the new Nine Golf family. Last shaft. Okay, uh, yeah, so we'll finish off this one uh, as, a, as a new option. Um, so this is the, the all new uh, Aldola Ascent. Again, very similar to some of the other ones, you know, where, you know, it's new for us. So I, I'm excited to see you hit it as well. Um, give us some more feedback. Obviously we've done our own testing, but um, it's always good to get more, more reps in, especially with your speed. So let's take a look. Oh, it felt better than it looks. So again, this has to be better than the one that you really liked. Oh, well, maybe not. Good mess. Twist face. Twist face. <laughs> I seriously think I'm just getting tired. That was a really good mess, though. Uh, that one there might be a jug. Yeah, no kidding. 320 and does the the baseball finish. Oh, fuck. Hideki. Hideki's my <laughs> idol. <laughs> Not bad. It doesn't feel as good as the other one. Okay, well let's, let, let me put that one back in your hands then. Because I know you kept referencing that, so. This is the stock, which I mean, I assume is pretty similar to how you were hitting it probably in your first video. Yeah. It was Nothing there is shocking you, no, I would say. No. So then we go to custom, something that you like the feel of, and then it just tightens, right? And that's something that you basically asked for right, right off the hop was, you know, are we seeing any bigger ball speeds or, you know, numbers like that? Not tremendous, right? Like, but it's, you're getting it, I mean, 340 and four or five or, right where you want them. And then the miss, that one miss was the one that you actually said, I'm trying to turn this over. Right. So you did. 
it's cool to see that it does tighten. Yes. Because it feels more or less the same swing. I'm trying to move the ball the same way. Yep. But it is amazing to see what uh, shaft change can yep. do to tighten that. 100%. But yeah, again, like, you know, there's, there's what's in your hand. That's the one that we kind of agreed that that was the best custom for you. And then we go to stock. The stock actually has pretty decent it does. dispersion. 100%. It's not bad. Very similar numbers, right? Like carries a few yards. It's not like this shaft is making you hit it 20 yards longer. Right. But it's just tightening that up. And especially at your speed, you know the misses can be, like that's the miss that's gonna kill you in a tournament. Right. That one maybe too, right? Mm -hmm. And then you over, you know, you put that on top of that. It's okay. a pretty drastic difference there. That is cool to see the data that TrackMan picks up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, very cool. So tight, it just tightens things up. Pretty shaft, pretty shaft. All right, we'll do this one then. Pretty bird. How am I gonna tell Jess I just bought an $1,100 driver? What mommy don't know won't hurt her. Okay guys, in wrapping up this video, we came to see Craig to really dial in the shaft. After working with the TaylorMade Sim 2 and finding the shaft that I want, I really tightened the dispersion, which is perfect for my game. Modern Golf has locations in Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto, and they're expanding. If you want a premium fitting experience, make sure you check out Modern Golf. Thanks so much for Craig for having us here, and we'll check in with you next time.